We are joined by DePaul head coach Tony Stubblefield after the Blue Demons' incredible Big East tournament went over Seton Hall, 66-65. Blue Demons and Xavier Thursday night, 7 Eastern time, FS1 in the quarters. Tony, your team is down by four with 17 seconds on the clock. Why didn't they quit? You know, this is a resilient bunch. You know, them guys could have gave into it two or three times during the course of that game. They could have gave into it many a times during the course of this year, being on a 12-game losing streak. But just older, experienced guys, and they never gave into it. And we, our motto is find a way, and it's a 40-minute game. And, you know, that proved to be true tonight. So really proud of those guys. Coach, walk us through the, the last play when JT gets to steal. Out of that timeout, were you trying to trap or go for a steal first and then foul? Or what, what was your strategy there? We, we, you know, we out called the timeout. the timeout, and we wanted to go for a steal first. Okay. We, 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 our jump ball, because yep. the possession was you know, in our yep. favor. So we wanted to go for a steal or the jump ball, and um, we were fortunate that Jalen got that three, yep. and he had the awareness to find Mo Gibson at that three-point line. So yeah. just very fortunate there. Nick Angenda has been through so much this season. Describe to all our viewers out there what that road has entailed and how rewarding it is for you as his coach to watch him get this moment tonight. You know, Nick has been through so much. Um, Nick had one of the better summers and falls out of any player I've ever been around. And three days before the season opener breaks, you know, um, breaks a bone in his wrist. And he's out for about a month and a half. He goes back to the doctor thinking he's going to get the cast off, that he's going to be ready to play. And they had to do another surgery. So now he sat out until February. And again, coming back in the Big East, as tough as this league is, after missing 25 games, is very, very hard. And not only has Nick come back, he's been a major contributor to our team. I mean, he, he's added a lot of confidence in us from a defensive standpoint. Obviously, he's shot blocky. But just being able to throw the ball down to the post and just his athleticism, and I'm just really – proud and so happy for Nick and his family that, you know, he's getting rewards for this. Coach, now, now you have to shift gears now. I mean, you're going to enjoy this win, and now you go up tomorrow night versus a really good Xavier team. What, what are your first thoughts about that matchup and what is it going to take for you guys to advance? Xavier's a very good basketball team. Um, they're very good offensively. They're very good defensively. They're really connected. Sean Miller's a great coach. And we're going to have to be on top of our game for 40 minutes tomorrow to give ourselves a chance. But we know how good Xavier is, and um, we're just going to have to be ready to play. Tony, to walk into this building, and it is a new season. You're one of 11 that's got a shot here this week. That's the beauty of this tournament. To have that moment out there with a packed garden. The garden was packed yeah. by the end of this game cool house. for DePaul basketball for this program just how cool is that for you it is um just very excited and just really happy for our guys again because they've been through a lot over the course of this year and this is just the third game that we've had our full team we had them all for eight minutes against St. John's about three or four weeks ago we had them this past Saturday against Creighton in the night so just f have our full team all our bullets and just it's about surviving and advancing but this is the Big East. This is what the Big East tournament's all about. And they survive in advance to meet the Xavier Musketeers, who they split with in the regular season, 7 Eastern time Thursday night. How's the Thursday night sound for the DePaul Blue Demons in the <laughs> world's most famous arena? Sounds great to me. We're in the big city one more night. We'll see Coach Doublefields tomorrow.